All right, good morning everybody. So this is gonna be kind of my life update video as well as some plans for the future. I know I've put a lot of this already on Insta and all that, but I kind of wanted to put it all in one place. Uh, so starting my morning with a large caramel coffee and a couple glazed donuts. But just wanted to throw these updates out there, kind of let you guys know where I'm at with everything. Uh, we'll kind of start with what's going on so far this year. Uh, I did meet someone, his name is Dylan. I'm sure you've seen some mentions of that on my page. And we met through Instagram. I know it's weird, it's a strange way. I'm also in a weird place in my life. I'm in the middle of a divorce. But the connection and vibe was there. And it's just something I want to pursue and see where it takes us. So, so far, so good. He's ambitious, works multiple jobs, he's in school, and he's driven like I am. Uh, he supports my dream of going on this road trip and moving across the country. So we'll kind of go from there and see where it takes us. He bought me a mic uh, for my YouTube channel, which is amazing for Coffee with Nate. I've never had somebody do stuff like that for me. He bought Abby a new collar and leash, which if you've seen the photos, it's cute. He knows what he's doing. So. That's kind of that on that. So far, just hanging out, spending some time together. We talk a lot on FaceTime. And one of those connections that I'm extremely grateful for that I've made so far this year, and I adore him. He's absolutely adorable. He's so kind, he's so sweet, and he's just a genuine, nice, driven human being. Uh, as far as everything else, my house did sell in a day and a half. Uh, it went on the market. I had a good feeling about that weekend. We did get an over ask offer for it. The woman has her financing and everything in place. We have the appraisal tomorrow. Uh, it's currently Sunday the 10th, so it'll be Monday. They'll come out, I have a good feeling about it, my house will appraise, and we'll just continue the process like normal. Uh, we have to be out of the house as long as everything goes through the first week of February. So after I clean up the house today, I'm gonna post some stuff on Craigslist, start getting rid of some stuff, and kind of go through our property and kind of divide things up. I am going through a divorce, so I gotta divide that stuff up. I think we're gonna have to do the lawyer avenue. We haven't been getting along, conversations haven't been good. We were gonna try to do it mutually, but it'll probably end up with a lawyer, which is fine, it is what it is. Beyond that, uh, we've got the house, the divorce, and then uh, nothing else too crazy going on. Been keeping up with my social media, keeping up with my OnlyFans page. So follow the link in the bio on my Instagram. Oh, and today I just made a Instagram page so you guys can follow Nate and Abby's adventure. It's the pages Nate and Abby Lewinsky and I'll link YouTube videos there. I'll link posts, everything that's gonna be going on in our lives, I'll be putting on that page. I'm so excited. I've gotten good reception from people already. My social media, I've added over 2,000 followers in the last six to seven weeks. So people are picking up the material, I guess I'm putting down. I'm doing my inspirational videos. I did one this morning. I've done perseverance, change, ambition. So if you need some motivation, stick to my Nate Lewinsky page two. I'll do daily. I'll see how long I'll do it. I mean, if I can keep coming up with topics after January, I may give it a shot. And so that's my socials, everything's Nate Lewinsky. Follow all those, stay updated. Go follow Nate and Abby Lewinsky. You can follow our adventure. I'm saving up for Abby Sanctuary in Oregon. That's what the OnlyFans money is going to. And then I've also been offered some massive, massive donations. And then if you do wanna donate, I have a Venmo account that's on Abby and my page. It's Nate Lewinsky. So if you wanna donate towards the cause, 100% of the proceeds will go to that. And I'll kind of link into Abby's sanctuary right now. I had uh, a friend recommend that I make merchandise or bumper stickers. And that's something I think would be awesome. I've been posting on my pages, uh, spread love, not hate, love always Nate. And it rhymes, it's cheesy, it is what it is, but I think it would make cool shirts with some hearts, some rainbows, maybe a picture of Abby and I, cause I think it'll be love Abby and Nate, cause that's, that's my baby. And so we went to the dog park yesterday, did that, but I think I'm gonna make some merchandise. She's photogenic, very photogenic. She loves the camera, she's a ham. So I think I'm gonna make some merchandise, throw some bumper stickers on the back of the camper, throw them on the Explorer. And then 
I had an artist that I've commissioned some amazing art from. It's on my Instagram, it's on Abby and I's Instagram, and I'm having those printed on vinyl, and they're gonna be stuck to the sides of the camper. I'm gonna have our hashtags on there, Abby or Nate and Abby's Adventure. I'll have our Instagram page on there. I'll have Coffee with Nate on there, doing a solo coffee today. But I'll have all of that posted on there, so when people see us on the road, People smile at her every time they see her in the passenger seat. And the photos look just like us. So I think if I have that on the side of the camper, that'll be awesome. So I'll have those loaded on there with our hashtags and everything. And then we'll hit the road. Uh, prior to that, let me backtrack. Uh, the first week of February, I'm gonna drive up to Michigan. I'm gonna remodel my grandma's house, do some painting, do some kitchen work. Her house just needs a little love. It hasn't been done since the early 2000s as far as the paint. She doesn't like the color. I'm gonna paint it white, just brighten her house up, give it some new life. And then on my way back down after I spent a couple weeks in Michigan, I'm gonna stop at my dad's house with his wife and my little brother Noah. I'm gonna paint his bedroom, which is an honor. I adore that kid more than anything. And then his playroom slash their guest room and kind of help them decorate their house. I'm gonna help them train their dog Stanley he doesn't have much introduction to other dogs. Abby will be with me. She's really easy. So that'll be a good way for me to spend time with them, see their new house, help where I can, and then I'm gonna come back. Uh, back to Dylan. We're gonna go celebrate his birthday. I wanna take him to Magic Kingdom. He's never been. And if you've followed my page for any time at all, I'm Disney obsessed. Every time I walk through the gate, I feel like a kid again. So we're gonna do Disney. Keep an eye out for photos. He has a Mickey hat, I have a Mickey hat, so I think we're gonna make some cute pictures. And then uh, I'm gonna stay for my friend Mary's birthday towards the end of March. And we've been working on some business stuff together, so crush fingers for that. That's still kinda in the works, so I wanna see where that goes. I'm really excited for the potential with that. And then I'm hitting the road. Uh, the end of March, so you guys will see the postal increase uh, as far as travel goes, I'm gonna post my schedule up as well. So if you're in an area that you would like to be in, my friend Eric, or that you would like to meet in, my friend Eric and I are gonna kind of work out a schedule. My mom bought me a Disney calendar for Christmas, and I'm gonna put some of the dates on that and kind of mark them off as I go. I think that would be a really cute way uh, to keep an eye when I'm in the camper. And then, uh, so I'm gonna hit the streets. I'll be doing segments of coffee with Nate. Everything's gonna be hashtag Nate and Abby's adventure. So follow that hashtag. You can actually follow hashtags now on Instagram. Follow my pages, follow my YouTube. I'll be sitting in the camper at night journaling. My mom bought me a journal too. And so I'm gonna journal all my entries there at night. I'll be updating videos. I'll be creating my content and just kind of sharing my story. I've had people reach out to me and tell me they're inspired they're envious or jealous, don't be jealous. You can, I mean, it's an exciting adventure and go along with me on it. I think it's gonna be a blast. I'm so excited to do this. I've dreamed of this for a long time and everything's falling into place to make it happen. The money is there, the support of my OnlyFans is there, which is paying for Abby Sanctuary. I've added 60 followers in the last couple weeks since I've done my last update. That's insane, I appreciate it. Yes, I'm putting out good content. I'm proud of what I'm putting out. I'm taking suggestions from people and it's been good content. At the end of the day, yes, it's adult material, but it's good and it's artistic expression for me too. I love photography, I love photos. So it's a mix of things that I enjoy. And then while I'm out on the road, I'm probably just gonna have to put Abby in the camper and go make my material elsewhere. And so I'll have all of that going. I'm doing the content creation thing. Some people don't understand this path. Some people think nine to five is where it's at. It's not for me. Uh, I'm not someone who can work for other people. I've done it, I've been successful at it, and I've made them lots of money. And I just wanna chase my own dreams now. I, I don't want to be tied to a nine to five. I wanna be able to travel. And I've got a bunch of trips already planned. Uh, I'm gonna go to Aspen, Colorado with Dylan. I'm gonna go to West Palm with Dylan. And then as well as Mississippi, celebrate my birthday and his friend's birthday in July. And just, I've got those loaded in. He likes travel too, and I love travel. I just haven't had the opportunity with having jobs that I give 110% to. So now that I'm giving 110% to myself, 
it's going awesome. I'm thrilled, I'm excited. I know I use excited a lot, but I am. It's the best way to kind of describe what's going on. Abby is stoked to do this. We went to the dog park yesterday and she just loses her mind just going in the car at all. I got our cute little bed for herself. Dylan got her this adorable leash. Look at those photos, I think I said that already. And then I'll be on the road. I can't wait to meet everybody. I've had a lot of people reach out saying they're inspired by my material, they'd love to meet. I wanna meet people. We'll do it in public, I'm not meeting you at your house. I don't wanna do any of that, I, you mean COVID, everything else. So we'll meet at a coffee place, I'll have my mic so we can mic you up and get you all set up so we can have good material and you can hear without all the background noise. I'm probably gonna turn a lot of this material into a podcast as well. I've already got the photos for it from the, my commissioned art and podcast people love them. They drive in the car and they can listen to them and I've been having real conversations with people. The first one was with Sam. It was kind of a life update for each other. She's pregnant, she's with one of my really good friends from home team and him and I haven't talked much lately but he was always really supportive. He was part of my crew there and updated with her. Feedback on there has been good. Some people think we're narcissists or we're into ourselves or whatever. This is just something I wanna do. Uh, I made a video with Corey. He was a little nervous, uh, but he did really well. And after we had some conversation once the camera was off and he kind of opened up about some things, some struggles in his life. And he said he's gonna work on those as far as smoking weed every single day. He has backed off that. Which if our conversation helped that at all, that's amazing. Um, he said it did, so I appreciate that. You mean if I can make some sort of impact on people, I I really enjoy that and that's, that's a lot of what I want this trip to be. So once I'm on the road, I'm gonna stay at some national parks. I'm gonna try to volunteer. I've been told that if you volunteer 18 hours a month, you can stay for free. So I'm working on that research, trying to get that all set up because I'd love to stay in the national parks for free. They're beautiful. I can make beautiful photos and videos and I'll be staying with some friends too. I've been offered couches and guest bedrooms and all that. So we'll have some time in the camper, some time at friends' houses, and I kind of go from there. Uh, I was planning it out with my friend Eric and we were looking at the locations. I had previously said three to six months, but honestly, it's gonna be nine to 12. And I'm excited for that. I have no problem with that. I'm low maintenance. I'll sleep in that camper for as long as I need to to do this. And once I get to Portland, the timing for my first year of a rental will be great because it's during winter time and rentals are really cheap during the winter time. Nobody wants to move in the winter. So I'll find a place there, get myself settled, and then I'm gonna have a storage unit here in Florida to keep some of my stuff. And then I'll come back, drive a U-Haul back with all my stuff and then fill my apartment. Uh, a little side note, I am buying my grandfather's 1995 Ford F-150. He was the only owner other than my aunt. We used that truck to build my cabin, if you guys have seen my post. My dad did sell that cabin, which I understand. Uh, but that cabin I built with my grandfather, my brother, my dad, some other family members too. And it was an amazing experience. I love that truck. Obviously I love old vehicles. I drive a 1995 Ford Explorer. And that truck will be a great work truck and farm truck once I open Abbey Sanctuary. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, the end goal for my life is to have a dog rescue in Portland or outside of Portland, somewhere in the mountains with five acres of land, some animals, maybe goats. I know I'm gonna have chickens and I'm gonna have a dog rescue there. And the whole thing will be called Abbey Sanctuary. And I'm gonna bring people out to do a week long retreat. We'll do hiking, we'll do meditation, we'll do yoga. And I reference this in some other videos too. And I just want people to get centered and spend some time maybe by themselves with others doing hikes and getting back to earth and getting back in touch with the universe and getting in touch with their lives again. And there's so many distractions and so much negativity and 2020 was a hard year as far as politics. And even this year, it's kind of bled into this year, but we're starting a new administration. I am an independent, but I obviously lean, lean Democrat. I voted for Biden and Harris and I couldn't vote for someone with as much hatred and everything that came out. I spread some hatred this past year and that's one thing my life coach has talked to me about is, I say hate about stuff and certain people, so I'm working on spreading more love. 
That's where my whole thing of spread love, not hate. I spread some hate this past summer and it affected me internally and I was depressed. I built some anxiety and some other issues in myself and it relayed to other people. I had some arguments with people. I had some fights with people. It created some division in my life and now I've had some better conversations. I'm rebuilding those relationships and I'm really working on that. And that's something, that's a project in myself that I, I know I need to focus on. So I'm gonna make those bumper stickers. I think I'm gonna try to get the whole camper just vinyl wrapped and have somebody make a logo, spend a couple grand probably having that wrapped, but I wanna do it the right way. And so when people see it, maybe they'll take photos of it. They'll see us on the road. They'll see Abby in the passenger seat. She smiles at people. Like she's that much of a ham. So maybe I can get the whole thing vinyl wrapped and then hit the streets. I'm so excited for this adventure. It's basically a year long vacation for me. And it's something I've always wanted to try. I know a lot of other people have wanted to do this too. And they just have jobs that unfortunately hold them back. I mean, we all have responsibilities. Some people have children, everything else. I've been given this opportunity and I've worked my ass off for it too. I mean, nothing's been given to me. I've been assisted along the way a lot by people with knowledge and I've been through hard times. People have kind of helped me out. So I like to spread that too and help other people where I can. But I'll kind of wrap this up here. I'll keep it shy of 20 minutes. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys for your support on my pages, um, my YouTube, my Instagram, my TikTok, which I'm going to focus on a little bit more. I have a Twitter too. That's more adult leaning towards the OnlyFans. So just be conscious of that. The OnlyFans reception has been amazing. I've been linking up with some of the people that have those pages and they helped me out a lot. Bubba Matt's one of them. Alex Letterman's the other one. And just working through the marketing with my Instagram. I've been working with some pages to share my stuff. Love Sex in LA. Every time you share my stuff, I get a bunch of followers. So I hope you see this. I'm gonna send this to you. I appreciate you because you have a huge following and you're one of my favorite meme pages on the internet. I'm pretty sure I like everything you post and you've helped me out a ton as far as my exposure. And then there's a couple of promotional pages that I follow too. It's all part of marketing. I'm paying these companies to share my stuff and it's not a huge investment, but the ROI on it is massive. And people are seeing it and people are experiencing what I'm putting out there. And I think the positive vibes are really hitting with people and I'm, I'm giving it everything I've got to share that positivity because there's so much negative out there. And if I can be that one page where, yeah, I post a lot. Like I have friends that are like, every time I get on, you're on there. But I also have friends that are like, every time I get on, you're on there and I like it and I'm excited. So if I can spread that positivity and maybe I brighten your day just a little bit, then I'm gonna keep doing it. I've gotten good traction on it and people like it. So just follow my pages. I love you guys very much for all of your support. This is huge. This is letting me live my dreams and you guys are helping me do that. So if there's stuff you wanna see on any of my pages, even my OnlyFans page, I've had recommendations there. I fulfilled one of those yesterday and so far so good. Um, if you wanna see stuff on Instagram, if there's parts of my life that you wanna see, I'm an open book. Um, and as far as open book goes, I deal with bipolar and I'm on a medication now. I know I talk a lot, I'm just a passionate person. Um, but if you have questions about that, I've dealt with mental health issues. I've been through a lot in my childhood, my younger years, and so we can talk about that. I'm an open book, I don't judge people anymore. I used to, but I've made an effort to change that. So getting past about 19 minutes now, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, enjoy my, uh, my two glazed donuts. I stole this order from Dylan. He's so cool. Um, and I appreciate him for supporting me in this too. We're gonna try to work out everything with us while I'm traveling. And all he asks that all I do is stay in touch. He's not trying to hold me back from my dreams. He's not trying to tell me I have to stay in Florida. He lives two hours away and I've made a point to drive over there a couple times and visit him. And he supports me and I appreciate that because that's not something I, I got in my marriage. I was told, go get a nine to five. You need a real job. And for me, this is a real job. I'm making an income and I'm supporting myself. So just spread the love, spread the positivity, do what you can to help others. I know people are going through hard times financially and we gotta make it through, we will make it through. You made it through 2020, so one day at a time. 
but love you guys very much. Thank you for supporting this. It's letting me chase my dreams and I couldn't explain how grateful I am. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and take it easy.